Thanks today. You know the radio that edifies your heart. With the world and music from Jehovah on high. All we do is about God. In holiness and in joy. For the blessing of human race. All by His grace. You say, Apostle of Soul. It's a beautiful day to you, Adeni Snaz. Thank you for joining us on our direction of Gospel Trend, a weekly program where we bring to you Christian news, events, information, happenings all around the world, live from the studios of Apostolos Radio. I am your host, Oluwashi Wafolabi. Starting with the headlines making rounds, still Christian's family rescued from Afghanistan. He said we must support them in the new beginning. Muslim father kills son for his Christian faith. As angels that we lost Texas church members vote for demolished sanctuary where 26 died during massive shooting. Also in China, police arrest 10 kids, 18 adults in raid on worship gathering. Meanwhile, Sidney McLean says faith is such a test of faith as critics reject Jesus living in me. And also on the headlines, Lauren Diggle's timeless album, Look Up Child Tops Christian Albums, chart for 100 week so join us as we give you full details of this story live on apostolos radio All right, starting with story making rounds, teachings in churches adding to Nigeria's challenge, says Minister Ogumboye, the minister in charge of Christ Apostolic Church, CAC Liberty Center, Dwekiti Ekiti State Prophet Felix Ogumboye, has said the country is facing a myriad of challenges due to the manner of teachings people are listening to in churches. He said he noted that most churches and clerics now preach about prosperity and good things of life but jetting the fundamental things which are the gospel of Jesus Christ and walk in the way of the Lord. Ogumboye spoke with Tribune Church News last Thursday on the sidelines of 16th edition of 100 Hours Prayer Battalion program of the church in Adrekiti, the state capital. He revealed that God has used him in the last 16 years of the program to deliver people from bondage and barrenness, restore health as well as intercession for the nation. According to him, churches should stop concentrating on getting larger congregation and begin to place priority on winning souls for the kingdom of God and deepen the teachings of the gospel. He identifies seeing the work of God as a means of survival as one of the challenges facing the religious setting in the country, stressing that the gospel of God must not be seen as alternative means of survival. He said, and I quote, said, we are having many challenges in the country today because our pastors now preach prosperity rather than our people will walk and be in heaven with our God until we turn back to things of the heaven. Our problem will continue. He said, these people you see in the position of authorities, all leadership always go to churches and mocks, but don't hear the right and the needed words to change their ways of life. He said, we always celebrate population in our places of worship rather than people who love God and walk in his ways. There is joy in heaven for winning souls for God, he said. Ogumboye advised, also advised government at all levels to eschew any form of nepotism and tribalism in their dealings, saying these things killing our country, he added. Meanwhile, soldiers complete in airsmen attack in Nigeria, Christian says. 
soldiers and security personnel failed to intervene in this month as Fulani Helpsmen killed 70 Christians in one area of Plateau State, Nigeria, while in other areas, soldiers helped headmen destroy farmland, Christian leaders said. Muslim Fulani killed 70 Christians, displaced 30,000 others, and burned 5,500 homes in attack on villages in Mango District, Basa County. The first three weeks of August, according to David C. Marcin, spokesman for the predominantly Christian Uruguay ethnic group, the Reverend Wonkuaka. Another leader of Iregwe community said the attack took place in spite of the presence of forces deployed to the area to protect the residents. He said, Why the Fulani Hersmen were attacking my communities, the soldiers and other security agents were around, Pastor Eka said in a message to Monster News. As the Fulani invaders were carrying out the attackers, we expected them to confront the invaders and stop the discussion, the destruction going on, but that did not happen. When Pastor Aka questioned the soldiers, they told him that they had not received orders to repel the attack, he said. He said if the security agents were deployed and allowed to do their job, maybe the Fulani attacker would not have succeeded with their evil plans and my people would not be suffering what they are experiencing at the moment, he said. Marcy identified some of the predominantly Christian villages attacked in Mango District this month. He has Sagwa, Kempti, and many others. He said unseasoned tears have continued to roll in the eyes as a nation, and people, even as a note in his pen town. Marcy said the terror being unleashed by Fulani Ashmen on Igre Christian has continued unabated and without any sign of remorse or regret. It is estimated that attacks in the past month have also destroyed 1,000 farms. The Reverend Koti District President of the Church of Christ in Nigeria, COCIN, appealed to the state and the federal government to provide aid for 30,000 people displayed from 39 Igwe Christian communities in Basa country who are now in camps for eternal displayed persons in Manigo and Kwa. Also on the story making rounds, Muslim mom of five shed tears on her news in church as female pastor gives her daughter scholarship. A female Nigerian pastor has gifted a 12-year-old Muslim girl scholarship to complete her secondary school education. Prophetess Rose Kelvin, the founder of Prophetess Rose Kelvin Ministry, has awarded a 12-year-old Muslim girl named Latifa a scholarship. The kind pastor popularly referred to as Mommy Rose was said to have been looking for a domestic staff when she met the girl. He said that she was moved upon seeing a young girl putting in to fill the role. Pastor Rose acquired about aspiration and learned that Latifa had dropped out of school due to financial constraints. Latifa, born of a family of five, restored, resorted to doing as chores to help her mom who begged for arms after her husband left them two years ago. Prophetess Rose, however, gave Latifa a scholarship worth 300000 to help the young girl complete her secondary school education. <laughs> Still on the story making rounds, three Christian families rescued from Afghanistan say we must support them in a new beginning. Three Afghan Christian families have escaped the danger of life under the Taliban thanks to the work of a fifth base organization and the Italian military. The three families, which include seven minors, were rescued last week out of Kabul by the Italian military after being identified by Fonda Zone Meet Woman, a faith based organization based in Italy. Tragically, though the father of one of the families was missing and didn't make it out, he disappeared into the thin air with the advance of the Taliban. The organization said all total 14 Christians were rescued. Fonda Zone Meet Woman said the families we reset to in Bergamo, Italy, with the assistance of founder Zoe Meet Woman. He said we must support them in a new beginning. The leader said Daniela Nebrini, president of founder Zoe Meet Woman, applauded the rescue operation. He said we are grateful to Italian civilian and military authorities for this complicated and demanding rescue operation, not to mention the many people who work for its success. It might be a drop in an ocean, but the ocean is made of drops. Nebrini told Asian News. 
A total Christian consign ICC alighted the story and said there are hundreds of other Christian families in Afghanistan that are trying to flee the country. Unfortunately, though the lack of countries willing to accept such families in additional to logistical challenges has forced many Christians to remain in hiding. We said we are telling people to stay in their houses because going out now is too dangerous. A Christian leader in Afghanistan told ICC. ICC estimates there are between 12,000 and 40,000 Christians in Afghanistan, most of them converts from Islam. He said, according to the Taliban ideology, Afghanistan is a Muslim country and non Muslim must leave Afghanistan or accept second class status. ICC explained, for Christians coming from convert backgrounds, the Taliban will consider them apostate and subject to Sharia deadliest consequence he had then another story a muslim father kills son for his christian faith the muslim father of a 20 year old convert to christianity in god on sunday august 15 killed him for refusing to we we can't his faith so sad Kashimu Kawana of Pumabala village, Brazil subcountry in Kibu district, was not charged with murder but a lesser charge of manslaughter because he killed his son in anger for leaving Islam. So said in a report by believers Porter, his son Tabuko Tafro put his faith in Christ in 2019 at the time his father drove him from their home and went to Kampala where he worked in a hotel relatives said his mother later spent several months trying to convince him to return home to reconcile with the father which Tarifo resisted until consenting to come back on August 1st his father was away from home until Saturday August 14 when he called a family meeting to question Tefiros about whether he had come back to Islam or not he said i am mature enough to join any religion that i feel like because i am above 18 years table told him according to jamila baku kowal's sister he said i want to confirm that i am saved by god's grace i can't renounce my christian faith now or in the future Kowana became angry but remained silent as he left the house she said another relative said that the next day Kowana returned with a knife and all oh, and started eating tafiro who managed to escape to a neighbor's house he ever followed Tefiro and possibly entered the house and removed him back to the home instead, where he tied him up and started beating him with the hole. The relative, whose identity is withheld for security reasons, said he fell down unconscious. He then hung him up. The wailing of Tefiro's mother and other relatives at the home, where Kowanas had hung his son with a rope by the neck, brought neighbors rushing to the home. So said, he said, when I arrived at the Kowanas house with other neighbors, we found their father outside the house saying the area chaperson as an Christ told Monster News he told us that he had killed his son who had disgraced the Islamic religion by coming becoming a Christian. Kiri and other Muslim neighbors brought Kuana who offered no resistance to Puma police station. And he said I strongly condemn the brutal act of killing in the name of religion. He had the sharp person of local tourists at Wabeke echoed the sentiment. He said I was shocked to hear that a member of my area had killed his son. He said I condemn the art and I hate anyone who takes away someone's life in such a brutal manner. The police took the body for post-mortem examination. The pastor of Tedros Church in Kampala, named for security reasons, said he felt police should have judged Kona with murder. He said we are starting by the brutal death of a young convert who worshipped in our church for two years. The pastor told Monista News by phone. The assault was the latest of many instances of persecution of Christians in Uganda that Monista has recorded. Uganda Constitution and other laws provided for religious freedom, including the right to propagate one state and convert from one faith to another. Muslims make up no more than 12% of the population with high concentration in eastern area of the country. Now to Texas. In Texas, church members vote to demolish sanctuary where 26 died during mass shooting. Nearly four years after 26 people lost their life during a horrific shooting at First Baptist Church in Southern Land Spring, Texas, the building is reportedly for demolition. Shooter Devin Parry Kelly walked into the church on November 5, 2017 and opened on the fire crowding during a Sunday morning worship service. The victim from age of 5 to 20, 72 years. According to News 4 in San Antonio, members of the congregation voted Sunday to raise the 
sanctuary after it was deemed culturally unsafe. He said, once you are in there, the beautiful white walls, the white ceiling, the white floor, the white chairs, the names of the of the chair of everybody that they lost, said Terry Smith, the president of South Land Spring Community Association. The single red rose, the beautiful big rose in the center. It gives you an embrace by everybody, Smith added. It's just a beautiful peace place, small little church, little community with a lot of humble angels that we lost. He said the church sanctuary was converted into a memorial and a new church building was built next to it in 2019. On opening day, Pastor Frank Primary told the crowd that they were celebrating God's glory while remembering those who have paid the price for this incredible facility. The church commemorates the victims by reading their names as the church bell rang and those connected to them stood up in a crowd. Pomero's 14-year-old daughter, Anna Bale Promos, was also among those killed. The new worship center and memorial room honoring the victim was made possible through millions of dollars in donations from around the world. The facility featured air and security elements along with new judge bell tower and additional prayer space. Investigators said the attack appeared to stem from a domestic dispute involving Kelly and his mother-in-law who sometimes attended services at the church but wasn't there that day of shooting. Kelly died of apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound after being shot by a neighbor and then fled in a vehicle while being chased by two men who had gone fire coming from the church. So, so us and the family members of victims said the performance of worship is painful reminder of tragedy that devastated the small town. The mass shooting is considered the deadliest shooting in US history. <laughs> In China, police arrest 10, ten kids, 18 adults in raid on worship gathering. Police in China raided a small group of Christian worshippers from a heavily persecuted house church in southwestern China's Trump province and arrested almost everyone, including an infant less than one year old, nine children, and 18 adults. Officer from Chagu District Mention Wealth Office was to enter the home of a church members in San, where the small group of early rain covenant church was meeting for worship on Sunday, CBN News added. The police claimed to leave receive a call to have received a call reporting an illegal gathering there. The church wrote on its Facebook page, Persecution Watchdog International High Christian Center consigned IRCC reported and find the gathering as the fading water small group and the preacher has died. Daiko. Preacher died asked the officer to show proper documents, but the police ignored him and possibly possibly entered brother's home. In the process, the preacher was injured on his arm, as where other men who tried to help. Dai's phone was also confiscated. IC said the church members told IC said that many people were beaten by the police after being held in detention when the children were rowdy. The police officer threatened to hit them on the heads. IC said police later released most of it, most of them, but preacher Dai and brother E were put under administrative detention for 14 days. Brother E also received a fine of more than $50, $54 of the US, which monitor persecution in over 60 countries. Estimate that there were about 97 million Christians in China, a large percentage of whom worship in, the, in what China considers to be illegal and are registered underground house judges. Over two years ago, the authorities shot the 5,000 members church. ARCC broke down the doors of church members and laid us home and arrested more than 100 people. Police continue to arrest and attack church members, according to the recent report from the US based group China Aid. ARCC, led by Pastor Wang, he has not been able to bear the person since it was shut down in 2018. When its pastor and other leaders were arrested, Wang was later sentenced to nine years in prison on charge of subversion of foreign and illegal business operation. Gua added that the Chinese Communist Party consistent fear of unregistered churches is both pathetic and preposterous as it underscores President Xi's 
Insecurity towards any critical mass. There is absolutely no regard for religious freedom. God already said, Vengeance seeks to intimidate leaders in hopes that churches will resolve you to be. The plot will not succeed thank, thanks to the resilience of Chinese house church. They survived the Cultural Revolution and they will survive the era as well. On the direction of presidency's officials, from the CCP have been enforcing split controls on region, according to reports released in March by China Aid. Authorities in China also cracked down on Christianity by removing Bible apps and Christian WeChat public accounts as new highly restrictive administrative measures. Our religious staff went into effect this year. China is ranked on open doors US World Watch list as one of the worst countries in the world. When it comes to persecution of Christians, the U.S. State Department has also labeled China as a country of particular concern for continuity to engage in particular civil violation of religious freedom. You are joined joining all this gospel trend live on Apostles Radio, and I remain your host, Olu Ashio Afolabi. Now to the entertainment scene. Sydney McLean says fame is such a test of faith as critics reject Jesus living in me. In a recent posted video of US Olympic gold medalist Sydney McLean opened up about the toxic nature of the fame and the pain she felt as those around her have rejected her because of her faith in Jesus. McLean, 22 year old filmed the video after the Olympic trials, which were held in Egwan, Oregon in late June but didn't share it until this week. In the candid video, McLean shared details of her own struggles just days after setting the world record time in the U.S. Olympic track and field 40 meters autos despite pulling off the lifelong dream. She said she was off by negative feedback and lack of support she received. She continued say, she said, not even three days ago, I actually achieved one of my life's dream of breaking the world record and I'm going to be honest, a lot of people around me did not respond how I thought my they would. She said, man, in a moment like that, where this a moment you remember for a lifetime, these are opportunities that you don't get everywhere every single day. I felt like the people I thought would be excited for me literally almost didn't even care. She said it hurt not knowing when it's going to be enough for a lot of people, adding she has worked really hard and been very cautious of how I carry myself, she said, of the things that I post because I want to glorify God and I want to be a good example. To the people, but our word only accept ignorance. Marklin, who has been very outspoken about her faith, says she feels she's been rejected because she gives God the glory for her success. He said, People reject truth. The New Jersey native explained, I know they are. They are not rejecting me, they are rejecting Jesus living in me, that's fine, but I'm just being honest, like sometimes my flesh has a problem with that. She ever said, I'm grateful and that I have a relationship with God, that the way I do, because without it, I think I would honestly be doing crazy right now. She continued, there's so many things I don't understand about the world, about our sport, about our culture. It makes no sense all the time. The accomplished runner went on to say she would like a little bit of respect for all her hard work and commitment because she said she doesn't even get from all of her teammates. Why she said at the end of the video she believes there is so much good in the world. She added that there is so much sickness. She said I'm praying for healing. She said I really hope that people can see that they don't have to live in this world of just it. There's such a better way. In the caption for the video, McLean said she feels the 10 minute clip carries a deeper message than just emotion, than I think others may need to carry it. Even in success, she wrote, there can be pain, even in triumph, there can be tribulations. But how you respond and the lens in which you view those situations provides an opportunity for growth and changes. Finally, she added, I'm beyond grateful for everything that has taken place this year. The Olympia continue, but the thing I'm most grateful for is a renewed mind that has allowed me to 
allowed me to look at video like this and see the changes Christ is doing in me the other. And finally on Gospel Trend this morning, Laura Diego Timeless Abon look up Chai Tops Christian Abram chart for 100 week Grammy Award winning single Laura Diego Abram look up Chai has reached another man show the team on the weeks at number one on the Billboard chart top Christian Abram chart the singer said she is grateful that the Abram continues to reach people through difficult times they go start full length Abram holds the record for the most time atop the the tally in the list of 41 year old history look up Child first came at number one on the top Christian album chart upon its September 22, 2018 release. The success of the album was spearheaded by Diego's crossover hit song, You Say. The single also made it straight up in the streaming, airplay, and sales bears all Christian songs list for 132 weeks. It's amazing to me. It really blows my mind. Diego told me, but I will say I I desire that it would be successful, but to see how effective it has become has been really beautiful. The best part of this is seeing how people have used the album and how it worked with them through a really difficult time or a beautiful season. The best part of this type of accomplishment, the Louisiana native said that she created the album. She hoped it would be timeless. However, she never anticipated the songs would guide listeners through a global pandemic. The thing that is so special about music is that it really can be timeless throughout the record making process of Look Up Tide. I remember saying, I just wanted it to be timeless body of work. I want it to be something that even 20 years, 30 years, people can see food and listen, she said. She said, I think this is beautiful of music as old. It, is, it can impart you in one way of for certain season or period of time. Then it can mean something completely different in season or years that follow. The artist added and said, I think that's what this record is doing for people. It's bringing them to a place of home that they remembered back in 2018, reflecting it on good memories and good moments. They are finding a sense, sense of home in lyrics and in the sentiment of record. I feel like when tragedy strikes or when quas strikes, it is a beautiful thing to return home and to remind yourself, yourself that there is good out there. And I think that's what people are doing with the record. Some writer says she wants a song to be palatable and tangible and livable for our listener. To see this chart and to see these things that have come from commercial success of this record is really beautiful because it means people are still holding on to it and finding it for the first time, she noted. Dego is jamming up for a long Dego World Tour. The tour which launches September 24 was postponed in 2020 due to COVID-19 global restriction. The artist told Bebop. She also has the goal of releasing new album in 2022. Her latest single, Tremble, gives her millions of fans a glimpse into her personal experience in the presence of God. Though Digu had performed Tremble while on the road, the multi platinum selling artist shared a live performance of the single with the world for the first time last month. <laughs> And that's how much you can take on Gospel Train. Join us again, same time, same station as we bring to you Christian news event happenings all around the world, live from the studios of our Apostolos Radio. Remember, God is most glorified in us when we are most satisfied in Him. I remain your host, Oluwashi Anfolabi, saying bye for now and God bless.